today, December 22nd, 2015. All of you come to this Chaya Meditation Monastery or for lunch to the monks, the nuns, and meditators, and also offer the Sangha gift for the monk and for the temple. Some of you come to observe eight precepts and practice tranquility meditation and inside with Pasna meditations. Some of you come from California and come visit the temple to pay homage to the Buddha Dhamma Sangha and just morning chanting, sitting meditation. So now is the time to listen to Dhamma talks. <coughs> so when we come to the temple, you will gain peace, happiness, knowledge, as merit. So all of you come to the temple today, you come to develop and kind of part of me, virtue perfections. Our ultimate goal is for liberation. So to liberate them from suffering, many defilement, what we need to do, we need to develop the virtue of perfection, ten kind of Bottom me. As all of you know, ten kinds of me virtue perfection is a generosity, morality, renunciation, wisdom, effort, patience, truthfulness, and resolution loving kindness and tranquilities. Equanimity, not tranquility, equanimity. So ten kind of part of me, ten kind of virtue perfection. So we need to develop this virtue perfection and then we fulfill it and then we will gain our ultimate goal. For instance, the first one, dana, generosity. We need to offer something. Share your belongings to others. So generosity, dana, army. Especially for meditators who practice meditation before you practice sitting meditation, you entrust your mind and body, your life to the Buddha. This means you offer your life your body and mind to the Buddha. This also we call dana too. Dana is to giving, offer. That's why when you practice meditation and trust our body and mind to the Buddha, it's one kind of dana. You offer something, some <coughs> material thing we call dana barami. If you offer your organ, one part of your body, such as you offer your kidney, you offer your blood for someone else, this means dana upa barami. It's the 
better than Dana Barami. And also, you offer your lies to the Buddha. It's called Dana Paramata Barami. So you come to practice meditation, this means you develop Dana Barami. And second one, Sila Barami. Sila is the observing five precepts, also is in Sila Barami. Especially out of you, come to the time of the eight precepts. Especially, this means Sila Barami. And the third one, Nikama Barami. Nikama Barami means renunciation. Renounce for war, not renounce from the war. This means when you stay home, you enjoy your this uh, <coughs> your life, social life. It's not spiritual life. You enjoy sensual pleasure. You're watching the TV, uh, listen to music, using some spoofums, cosmetics, you eat anything you want, you wear any clothes, any color you want, you can sit and sleep on a luxurious places, bed, a chair, sofa, and so on. So when you come to the temple, Stay So you renounce on sensual pleasure to gain spiritual pleasure. Make a renunciation, renounce on the <coughs> socialized sensual pleasure. You try to reduce your greed your attachment. So you come to a temple, no TV to watch, no music to listen, no perfume, no cosmetic, no dinner. So you wear clothes very simple, not different color. You want to sit on Luxurious places, highest bed chair, and so on. So this means you renounce from the world, renounce from greed, attachment, this renunciation. It's the fourth one. Banya Barami, wisdom. You come to the temple. You come to listen to the matter. You practice meditation, sitting meditation and walking meditation. You start it from your body, your mind. So what happens to your mind, your body? You try to know your nature. So you see the nature of your mind and body as impermanent and so on. This means you gain wisdom. You come develop your wisdom. And the fifth one is the effort, Viriya Barami. Viriya Barami, at home, you know, as usual, you don't have <coughs> so much effort. But you come to the temple, as I know, okay, tomorrow, 3 a.m., I have to wake up. So at home, maybe 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., maybe 7 a.m. So follow your desire. When you, when you want to get up and you get up now here, as rule, you wake up 3 a.m. And then try to practice walking meditation, focus your mind 
as the movement of your legs. When you sit meditation, you try to focus your mind on your mind object meditation, on your breath, on your abdominal movement, rising and falling. Just use your effort. This means you come to practice Viriya Parami. This effort. And number six, Kandi Parami, patient. You need to be patient every day. This temple, this meditation center, it's not how, it's not your home. So you have to be patient every day, even you don't like it. So you have to be patient. So you come to practice patience. So develop your patience to sell candy bar me. Candy bar me. Patient every day. You want to you want you don't want to eat. So nothing else. You have to eat. Satisfied with that. So even